Hey guys, my name is Rupin Reja and today I'm going to show you how to bypass Trusted Installer. Now, Trusted Installer is something that protects the core Windows files and the one place I know where you can find these files in your C drive or whichever drive you boot from. You go into the Windows folder and then to the System32 folder right here and when you scroll down, you'll find a lot of DLL files and other types of files, exe files that are required by a Windows operating system. And when you right click on anything or any DLL file or exe file, you'll notice these security symbols in front of the rename and delete. So when you try to rename this with anything, it says that you require permission from trusted installer to make changes to this file and you're wondering what the hell is trusted installer i am the administrator of the pc like my account has admin access so why can't i make changes so let's just cancel this and and now i'll make some changes to a file i'll rename it or i'll even delete it i'm going to choose a very simple file that won't cause any problem even if deleted and that's um, a screensaver right here bubbles.scr so when you double click it you'll see that the screensaver loads for the bubbles and let's make some changes so what you want to do is go into properties and then select the security tab and what most people try to do is just press this edit and then go into administrators and try to give full control to the administrators group but um, as you can see you can't this checkbox is not available and when you open trusted installer you'll see that it has full access so what you need to do is just is just go into the advanced uh, section and when you open this right on top you'll see that the owner is trusted installer and you need to change this first before you can change any permissions or access like in this table you can see that trusted installer has full control while the administrators group has just read and execute so I was able to open the file but I can't rename it or I can't delete it so let's go ahead and change the owner and this dialog box will open up and what you want to do is just type in administrators that's administrator with um, a s at the end and just press ok and now the administrators group is the owner and you can easily change the access so just press ok right here and now you'll want to go back into the edit section so you'll notice that after changing the owner all these uh, checkboxes are now available so go into the administrators group and give it full access just press the checkbox for the full control and everything will be automatically selected and just press ok so it's just confirming press yes and you're done and again press ok and now you can rename it or even delete it so I can rename this bubbles2 and there's no dialog box that you don't have permission. And that's it for this video. Please like and share this video and do subscribe to my channel as there are many more videos coming up. And thanks again for watching.